Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pay your sales tax. So you've already turned on sales tax. You've been tracking it on your different invoices. Now it's time to make your payment. It's month end or quarter end or year end. It's time to make your payment. So you can come up here under vendors and sales tax. Uh, you can, if it's the first time, manage your sales tax, which is a nice little feature. You do have the sales tax preferences. You can go into the two reports that are most commonly run for sales tax, your liability and your revenue summary report, pay sales tax. And then also you can review your sales tax items quickly by clicking on this, open your sales tax code list, or just sales tax. We're going to go in and pay sales tax. Now the biggest thing here is you wanna make sure if you're paying your sales tax to use the pay sales tax feature because uh, you want to have only the, uh, or if you write a check straight to sales tax, it's not gonna record it against this pay sales tax feature. So it's gonna actually have that you paid some sales tax and then a positive of sales tax that you owe and they, they should net each other out, of course, but uh, if you don't have it set up or if you don't go through this paid sales tax area, it won't apply the uh, payment to the actual sales tax balance that's outstanding. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to show sales tax through 12-31-2016, and I have here my different vendors that I pay sales tax to. Okay, so I have the City of East Bay Shore, and then State Board of Equalization. All right, now it separates it out for me if I have the multiple counties, for example, or and I have to specify that on my sales tax return. So it, it does give me the detail of each county or each um, item individually, how much I owe for that individual item. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay the State Board of Equalization. I click off both of these here, and it gives me a total down below and I can go ahead and mark it to be printed so that I can print out this check. Um, or if you do an EFT, you can come in here and say EFT, you know, 12, 15, 16, whatever it is. And I can go ahead and say, okay, and it'll create that check. Now let's say that you have a state where you are, you know, you get a 2% uh, discount if you pay on time and you need to adjust your sales tax based on that discount. So you would click the adjust button here. Uh, you choose the date of the adjustment, what the entry number is, if you have a certain class for this adjustment, who the vendor is. So we're gonna say the State Board of Equalization, what account it's being adjusted against. So it's really an other income uh, type of situation when you're getting any benefits from paying on time or early. Then you have the opportunity here, you either increase sales tax by or reduce sales tax by. So we're gonna reduce sales tax, let's just say $2.50 is what we get on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. All right, so it resets itself and it tells me, oh, I've got a credit of $2.50 to the State Board of Equalization down here. So now I have to click all three and it'll take into account that negative $2.50 when I pay uh, my sales tax here. and now my sales tax has been paid.